he heightened to me Hove's greatness. Definitely. Um, that marriage was like, you know, Hove was always like my favorite rapper. Like, so just as a rapper, I'm like, okay, he's like the greatest rapper, cool. Um, you know, lyrically, you just, you know, I'm, I'm key, you know, I'm keyed in, I'm listening to him, and then he gets with Gay and these records, and it's like, wait a minute, that's even intensified. So, um, I was always like, okay, wait a minute, this guy's great, and he, he was just always like innovating, always innovating. You know, Ye was heavy, heavy Clips fan, heavy, heavy Hell Hath No Fury fan, heavy, and um. You know, he was just like, hey, come work. You know, and I came out there. I'd never worked with him before. You know, totally different work um, work environment, you know, than, than what I'm used to with Pharrell and Chad. What was different specifically? Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, like, I, you know, you walk in the studio and it's like a sign that says, hey, no phones, no cameras, no computers, no laptops. Everything Mob Deep, everything Wu Tang, everything, I don't know, Jay Z. Um, you know, and it was just, it was just like closed off and very focused. You know, working with Pharrell and Chad, it's like, you know, you got the video game on, you got the TV on, we listen to everything. That might spark something. Hey, Chad, go sample that sound that's in the video game. Get that. You know, like, you just, you're taking, you're taking um, influence from everywhere. And um, yeah, he's just laser focused. It's musicians around. It's, you know, great people just around. Um, <laughs> um, you know, RZA comes through with a sample pack. Hey, you know, I'm like, oh, that's RZA. It's like, <laughs> you know, and it's like he does this great, great convincing job of like, you know, like, listen, man, this is your sound, bro. Like, you can't abandon your sound. Like, it gets a little bothersome, you know, because I like, I like a lot of stuff. I like, you know, I like singing, but like, yo, man, it's one song. He's like, no, we don't want one song. We don't. We just want it all like this. Everybody comes in the room, they're like, ah, I think he's right, you know. They give me no, like, I have no backing, no nothing. Does anyone say no? I mean, I do. <laughs> I say no a lot. I mean, some people do. By the time I have him fully engaged creatively, you want his genius. You definitely want his genius in, involved in your project. He's really passionate about it. I was doing radio phoners and I was getting these wild, wild interviewers who were like, listen, I feel a way. This art is so disrespectful, so on and so forth. And it was like, well, wait a minute. Like, like, you know, before you could like you could almost be taken out of this game by losing a battle. Like actually people have been. It's not like that anymore. People be over it. It's cool. You take the L and Go on. People forget about it. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, that happened, but eh, whatever. The dope song. <laughs> you know, it, like, that's how it goes. And it's cool. It's, it's, it's whatever. I mean, people are so self-sufficient. Artists are so self-sufficient these days. You know, not everybody always want to be down. This rap thing is like a language to people. It's a real language. And what it is that I do and the way that I do it, um... From vocabulary to just being articulate in doing it, I feel like, you know, it, it, it broadens, that's what broadens my base a little bit. Other than that, it is what it is. You know what you're getting from Pusha T.